Hey guys, welcome to my channel Lunches TV. Uh, this is a game played in the Tata Steel Blitz Open between Hikaru Nakamura playing white and Levon Aronian playing black. Nakamura chose to play d4 and uh, Aronian played the Nimso Indian defense. The game went on like this. This is the classical variation of the Nimso Indian defense. It's called the Berlin variation. Now there's a double pawn for white. But then it's not much of a problem considering black's bishop is still underdeveloped and white's pieces are quite mobile at this point of time. Exchanging of the queens. Well, guys, it's a very tricky situation here right now because black can just capture the pawn on c4 and gain some material and uh, it's pretty interesting from here actually. If uh, black played uh, queen takes c4 then white could just play something like rook d1 to gain the control of the file and after something like a5 black can actually uh, bring his pieces out and gain some significant advantage with the extra pawn. We see that this bishop became mobile now and black can seriously gain a position which is close to equality or slightly advantageous. But then Aronian chose to exchange the queens here. Uh, it was not the best move but then even the best of players don't make the best moves. So. K5 attacking the pawn on a7. Aronians trying to exchange the uh, light squared bishops here. Nakamura is capturing as many pawns as he can. He doesn't let leave out any of the pawns. Uh, he could have played a better move here, but then that's alright. He captured all the pawns uh, and is trying to put a lot of pressure on Aronian with respect to the material advantage that he has gained. This is clearly, uh, this is clearly advantageous for white guys. You can see that white is a pawn up on here, and uh, this pawn doesn't do much. Uh, because Ironian can immediately capture the pawn. Uh, doesn't really do much because this pawn has advanced a lot further. And if we take a look at the position guys, there's three pawns on the king side. Whereas black has four pawns. White has an extra pawn on the queen side. Well, and this pawn is free to advance further. So that's the key factor here. Guys, these guys playing at the top levels, uh, the grandmaster levels are pretty calculative. So they know these kind of positions really well. So they know what these positions would lead them into. White is clearly better here. With the threat of rook b8. Putting pressure on this pawn, taking advantage of the <coughs> seventh rank. I'm sorry. Black is trying for a perpetual here, but then white doesn't really want any kind of perpetuals. King G2, he just played a different move.
black can't sustain too long with this position guys because white played rookie 6 check and uh, black just resigned here uh, if we take a look at this position if at all black played king d7 uh, white would just capture the pawn on rook king to f6 and white is clearly winning and if black chose to play something like king f7 white would still capture the pawn on f6 and that too with the check so white is clearly still winning here guys and yeah so finally nakamura won this game against Taronin. if you like this analysis uh, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel thank you guys